Okay. Can I read it? The half life of uranium 238 is 4.51 times 10 to the 9 years. So it's really long. What is the rate constant? How much uranium 238 is left over after four half lives if we start with 64 milligrams? So four half lives would be a long time, but of course I'm going to calculate it. So uh, this is purely having to do with half lives. So um, does it say uh, what the order of reaction is? Or what order are we going to guess? Yeah, if it doesn't say, you're going to go straight to one because most things are first order. So let me write down the half-life formula for first order. T e to the one-half, and it's not raised to the one-half power, it's just a symbol, equals uh, natural log of two over the rate constant. Or the rate constant equals natural log of two over the half-life. So K in this case is just the natural log of 2 over 4.51 times 10 to the 9 years. <coughs> or, uh, let's see, oh, and uh, I converted it to per second just for fun. So let's do that. If the problem didn't specify, you wouldn't have to convert it, but Sometimes it'll specify the change to a different time unit. So I would get used to that if you're not used to it already. So let's try that. If I wanted to convert this to seconds, one year is 365 days. You have to know that all by yourself. Um, and then you've got a day, that's 24 hours. And I'm also going to multiply We've got one hour is 3,600 seconds. So I'm multiplying by all three of these things in the black parentheses here. K it, per seconds is 4.87 times 10 to the minus 18 per second. So you didn't have, uh, according to how the problem's worded, you wouldn't have to change it to per seconds, but just for fun, I did it. Okay, ah. and then to do the second part of the question, how much uranium is left uh, after four half-lives? The way you do that part is just say, well, we started with 64, and this, is just, this part of the problem is just about understanding what a half-life means. Uh, after one half-life, I'd have 32 left. Okay, so half of the original amount would be left over. After another half life, I'd have, uh, let's see, that'd be 16. After the third half life, I'd have 8. And after the fourth half life, 4. 4 milligrams is your answer. That'd be zillions of years, but uh, it'd be eventually 4 milligrams. 